now listen you guys we are back we are back okay and this ain't no soap story anymore all right we're back on our feet and we're gonna keep streaming and we will continue supporting Nicki minaj okay now we're gonna talk about Nicki minaj standing up for herself and literally checking dj envy and i'm not mad at that okay we're also gonna be talking about doja get seemingly supporting a Nicki minaj sex red and caesar out there going crazy showing Nicki minaj some love and these are the things that we're gonna be talking about in this video hello t lovers and welcome to the tea plug i trust you guys are doing well and i trust you are doing great personally i am doing great you guys i'm doing amazing do you know why because listen honey it's not that deep okay billboard is not the world billboard is not the pubs billboard is not gig city so it is what it is f billboard honestly at this point this is how i'm feeling and i feel like whether or not they filter ourselves or not we do not give an f okay Nicki minaj will still remain gutted and in her words okay fair and square they can't beat her, okay? And we're also going to be talking about, obviously, uh, you know, the Transformer inserting herself in this entire situation. But listen, the last time um, that I'm ever going to insert this girl in this algorithm during the Pink Father 2 era, no, 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 no. You're not finding her in my description. You're not finding her in my title. Nothing. Do you understand what I'm saying? So first of all, you guys, Nicki Minaj it took to her Twitter to basically clock DJ Envy. And I was like looking at her like, okay, mother, we love to see it, all right? Because I mean, honestly speaking, you guys expect her to be acting all high and mighty all the time. And I bet if, if some of you were to be subjected to a quarter of the things that this woman has gone through, you wouldn't have been able to hold your tongue for this long. So actually, I do respect her for sometimes holding a tongue. Because if it were me, trust me, every little thing I would be... <laughs> I would be out there cloaking them because they really be doing too much. Do you understand what I'm saying? So after this entire debacle that happened, you guys, with um, Nicki Minaj and, of course, Billboard and how they are trying to play her, she was like, you know what? I'm banning. I'm banning the house down. That's basically what she was saying. She was like, I do not give three Fs anymore. Um, at this point, do whatever you want to do because I'm going to be cloaking the T, okay? So Nicki Minaj decided to take to her Twitter to address DJ Envy. So Nikki when I said um the first tweet that she tweeted was threatening me like what huh? You don't scare me. Take away all the cells you want. I've never not ended up feeling sorry for my enemies. Read that line again. God is in control. And rightfully so. God is in control when it comes to Nicki Minaj. I do not even understand how many times we have looked at all the dads who went against her and she still prevailed. Do you understand what I'm saying? So another person also um tweeted and said why can't we never just be fans why we can't just support our girl why is it so much pocket watching when it comes to the bubs why the politics we don't ask you for nothing not even fair treatment but still you want to stay in Nicki Minaj's pocket okay and um so Nicki Minaj went ahead and said remember how cocky DJ Envy was when he was saying he black balls my music on the video ask yourself how a DJ could get away with that behavior then I remember him selling them bus houses and i have to laugh we prayed envy one by one god will show you that you are not god hashtag pink, hashtag pink fire too and i'm all for people being shown and it being proven that they are not god like there's nothing i dislike on this earth more than somebody who feels like they hold control over somebody's destiny because listen honey no matter how powerful no matter how much money you think you do not have a hold over you know a person's money i mean look at what's happening to brother love right now who would have thought that that he would be um you know in that situation but guess what every dog has its day okay and honestly speaking i'm i'm not mad at Nicki Minaj for clocking dj envy because he was doing the most and these are not allegations he sat down on radio mainstream radio and literally bragged about black bowling Nicki Minaj's music and nothing was done to him and if i keep on telling you that this thing is bigger than the transformer that bosch behind face like this is what i'm talking about the fact that a dj a radio dj sat in there and admitted to that you guys and there were no consequences to that that is proof you guys that oh well there is something bigger that is behind um you know these people there's something bigger that is going against Nicki minaj's um you know entire situation like when you look even at the breakfast club himself Charlemagne the goddess like how their faces you guys their shamelessness when they're out here dishing out these unfair criticisms towards Nicki Minaj they sh the fact that they don't have shame on their face should tell you they criticize her as if uh, their life their lives actually depend on it 
Do you understand what I'm saying? So I'm like, these are just the faces, like Nicki Minaj said. And it's said that the Transformer even up to now doesn't even realize that we don't have time for you. Do you understand what I'm saying? We're not addressing you. We are addressing Bobot. <laughs> because she went ahead and, of course, retweeted... Um, you know, that entire thing that said, oh, when it comes to her, she only started giving out, uh, you know, cash ups after the first week. I'm like, it doesn't freaking matter. It doesn't. The fact is you still relied on payola. And the fact that you're getting multiple streams on radio and Bobo does not consider it fraudulent. But right now, fans are spending their money to secure an album and they want to come out here and call it fraudulent is insane to me. So after retweeting that entire situation, we were all caught up with this entire Bobo things thing. And we understand at this point that it's bigger than this transformer person do you understand what i'm saying like one moment i really want to be sympathetic towards the transformer but the next thing she ate so slow that i'm like go 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 please don't don't do this to us okay we have bigger things to focus on like now we were not even focused she was just used as an example we used it seemed like she's making it seem like it's just about her. We use Travis Scott as an example. You understand what I'm saying? It's not you. You're just the pawn in this entire situation. You are the bait. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not you. It's not you. It's not you. You're just a puppet. Oh my God. I wish you could see my hand movements right now because I feel like somebody really needs to knock some sense into her head. Like, like go. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's not about you. So after she realized that nobody was caring about that retweet because people were worried about Bobo. Do you understand what I'm saying? So she then, um, in my own opinion, this is my theory, okay? In my own opinion, okay? The neighborhood talk went ahead and, of course, um, you know, they posted that entire thing, um, you know, where she retweeted, where she retweeted that, um, you know, defense of his, that, oh, wow, it wasn't during the trekking week and stuff like that. And, um, of course, the neighborhood talk went and posted that. And that's when she went to the neighborhood talk and uh, she started passing off. And she goes like, oh, my goodness, make sure that you also, po you also post this and stuff like that. She said, please post who was liking stuff with my name in it first. Please post how, because of that, I started getting dragged on Twitter about lies. And I'm like, you're dragged every other single day, girl. Like, why is today so special? <laughs> You're dragged for your husband. You're dragged for sending men to, uh, you know, come for women, you know, for, for, for your husband's like you're dragged literally every day. So what's the difference now? Stop making it like we're not doing the victim mentality right now. Okay. You and your, in the neighborhood talk, you're being messy. And, uh, she also said, um, yeah, posting my response, but never when I'm being antagonized and lied on. I was minding my business. WAP debuted at number one. And I'm like, the fact that you even think that your debut at number one with WAP, WAP is organic is, is wild to me. That's even more proof that your IQ, there's something missing in your brain. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not about you. Why can't you figure that out? You're just, you're just a bait in this entire situation. It could, it could have been anyone in your position. Do you understand what I'm saying? It could have been anyone who slow enough to take the deal that you took it could have been anyone because that was not a smart deal oh my goodness and um, so she went ahead and said um and i teamed off with cash up after to give it to give away money for women who was in need during their pandemic no mention or purchase of my music needed it was to help them yeah I keep poking at me with the narratives and then when i finally respond i'm the issue keep my name out of your mouth nobody mentioned your effing mouth your effing name, I mean. Oh my goodness. And the fact that she actually and Carl want us to believe that Carl posting that entire face screenshot that she posted about, um, you know, the retweet that she made, the fact that she wants to make us believe that they didn't communicate beforehand. Here's how it went, in my own opinion. Uh, when they realized that, you know, her retweet was not getting talked about enough and it was not enough for her to go off directly on Nicki Minaj, Kyle, of course, posted the retweet uh, so that she can go ahead complaining about why, why Kyle had, um, you know, posted that retweet. <laughs> So uh, you're not going to convince me that Kyle posted that entire re retweet without, um, you know, an okay from her. I believe that he actually went to her and said, can I post this? And she said, of course, yeah, go ahead and post this so that I can come out here and directly address Nicki Minaj since I've been itching to say that. That's what happened in my own opinion. I don't know you guys if I'm just crazy, but let me know in the comment section what you think about that. But that being said, I'm happy that Nicki Minaj is out there cloaking DJ Envy and all the other dads who were used to try uh, into trying, uh, you know, to take it down. The fact that you don't know that you twerking on stage, like the Transformer, you, you know, doing all these things, you're the ones, you're the one who's actually feeding, uh, you know, these DJs and everything and everybody else. <laughs> Girl, this is beyond you, okay? This is not even your battle to fight and we're not even focused 
on you. We're not fixated on you. This is not your fight. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're just being used as an example because obviously there have always been double standards when it comes to you. And I mean, even you, I mean, I know you're not slow enough to try and deny that. Before you, people were being shamed for having ghostwriters, but like that changed when you came. So the fact that you're trying to sit up there and act like it has been fair is insane to me. And the fact that people are out, out here acting blind, acting like it's always been fair. And try, do you understand what I'm saying? The fact that they do try to compare this woman to Nicki Minaj and then at the end of the day, the game is never fair. The rules are never the same. They always bend the rules for her to accommodate her. And on the other day, on the other hand, they antagonize Nicki Minaj for having fans who actually want to support her, um, you know, by spending their money on her. It's insane if you ask me. Oh my goodness, you guys. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to be talking about, you guys, is Doja Cat. So Doja Cat went and sat with Envy. And I was supposed to talk about it in that other video, but... Eh. <laughs> Stuff got too emotional, you guys. Literally, stuff got too emotional. Um, that um, you know, I I I just couldn't talk about this entire Matlamini situation. So she was out there seemingly cussing out, calling out her fans for going in on Nicki Minaj, saying that oh well, she looks up to Nicki Minaj and things like that. And I'm like, okay, um, I certainly am not understanding how this is going. Do you understand what I'm saying? Behind the scenes, you're telling Nicki that you can't collaborate with her because you feel like she doesn't like you. And yeah, on the in the interview, you're showing love like which is which. <laughs> Make us understand, okay? But hey, that being said, I do believe that in her heart she does look up to Nicki Minaj. But sometimes these record labels make people do what they don't want to do. But at least she's smart enough to know that it's not a smart business move to go against Nicki Minaj. I'll give her props for that. If she does subliminally, subliminally. <laughs> If she does subliminally shade her, uh, she knows to be slick about it because she knows that it's going to cost her her big. That's, that's, I will give her credit for that if you ask me. So let me know, you guys, in the comment section what you think about Matt Lamini. Uh, basically, uh, you know, sh uh, showing love to Nicki Minaj. Do you think that that is actually genuine or do you think that, oh, well, she might actually be acting just so she won't get cast out, um, you know, by the barbs? Let me know in the comment section what you think about that. Meanwhile, Sexy Red is out there going crazy, showing Nicki Minaj some love. And I love Sexy Red for that, honestly speaking. I love, love to see her. And that's one person you can tell it's not even forced. She's just genuinely supporting somebody she likes. And I love that about her. Okay. Um, and I, I also did see um you know caesar showing love to Nicki minaj as well after you know a picture had been posted of Nicki minaj uh wearing some sunglasses and hair and uh, she said first picture is easily a meme for abundance and blessings an astrology page need to grab it immediately okay that's basically hyping up Nicki minaj so yeah i do love to see people supporting Nicki minaj as she should okay and honestly speaking, I was down for a moment. But listen, nobody's going to miss, us, miss out this rollout for us. We're going to continue having fun. I guess they were shaken by the love and attention that Nicki Minaj was, was getting. Because listen, that Kai Live, that Kai Live shook the internet. It literally shook the internet. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my goodness, I love everything about it. I love everything about it. Oh, my goodness. Thank you very much, you guys, for watching. And thank you very much for making it this far. If you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and do turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time that I post. Like, you guys, we've got so much to talk about today. But now I don't know if YouTube is going to allow me to continue posting a lot of videos. Because, like, if you exceed a certain number of videos on a daily basis on YouTube, they really begin to sort of shadow ban your video so i don't know if i do come up with another video i might post it on the tplug too so please do also stay tuned on that channel at the tplug too so that um you know if i do decide to post another video because there's something also that i want to talk about um and i can't preempt it in this because the last time i tried this mm, okay thank you for watching you guys and um until my next one see you